Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Parseval's theorem. Parseval's theorem. The Parseval's theorem basically states that the energy is same whether it is measured in time domain or in frequency domain. And mathematically, it can be represented as follows. The energy Ex is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of the signal squared. It is square of the absolute value of the signal. And in frequency domain, it can be represented as 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi x of e power j omega absolute value squared d omega. So this integration is basically the area under the square of the amplitude of the DTFT. And this 2 pi is basically dividing with the total bandwidth in terms of the frequency. So the energy is same whether it is measured in time domain or in frequency domain. And this quantity is nothing but the energy density. That is the square of the amplitude of the DTFT is known as energy density. Now let us look at the proof. Starting with the definition of the energy that is Ex is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity square of the square of the absolute value of the signal x of n. So now this can be rewritten as summation n equal to n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity plus infinity x of n multiplied by its conjugate. Now by using the definition of inverse dtft we can rewrite the summation as that is we rewrite x of n as 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi x of e power j omega that is its dtft multiplied by e power j omega n d omega and then we have 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi x of x of e power j theta e power j theta n d theta and we have a conjugate for the whole integral. Now by rearranging the integrals and the summation we have 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi and again we have 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi and then we have x of e power j omega that is the first dtft and its conjugate x conjugate of e power j theta and then we have the summation n where the value of n varies from minus infinity to plus infinity and we have the first exponential e power j omega n and then we have the second exponential which is e power minus j theta n and we have d omega d theta. So clearly this summation it has only two terms that has n that is e power j omega n and e power minus j theta n and therefore this summation can be clearly seen as dtft of 1 with frequency theta minus omega or the, the frequency represented by theta minus omega. So by rewriting the double integral we have 1 by 2 pi square and then we have the integrals from minus pi to plus pi minus pi to plus pi and then we have x, x of e power j omega and x conjugate of e power j theta and then this is nothing but dtft of 1 which is 2 pi multiplied by delta of the frequency which is theta minus omega and then we have d omega d theta now by using the shifting property that is since we have a delta function by using the shifting property, we can replace all the thetas with omegas. And we are left with only one integral. And of course, one of the two pi's here cancels with the two pi here. So the integral is from minus pi to plus pi. And this integral is gone because of the shifting. And then we have x of e power j omega. And the conjugate of, conjugate of x of e power j omega. Because theta will be replaced. Theta is replaced by omega. And then we have d omega 
because this d theta is also gone because of the shifting. And now if you look at this integral, it is nothing but 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi. The integrand is the square of the amplitude of the dtft, which is nothing but the energy density. And thus this is the total energy in the signal and which is also the same as the RHS in the Parseval's theorem. Thus, the total energy of a signal is same whether it is measured in time domain or in frequency domain. Thanks for watching.